Blessed is this holy man who was worthy to be numbered among the apostles, for he was a good man filled with the Holy Spirit and with faith. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mystery. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. O God, who decreed that St. Barnabas, a man filled with faith in the Holy Spirit, should be set apart to convert the nations, grant that the gospel of Christ, which he strenuously preached, may be faithfully proclaimed by word and by deed, through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Reading from the first book of Kings. Elijah said to Ahab, Go up, eat and drink, for there is a sound of a heavy rain. Ahab went up to eat and drink, while Elijah climbed to the top of Carmel, crouched down to the earth, and put his head between his knees. Climb up and look out, at the, out to sea, he directed his attention. He went up and looked, but reported, There is nothing. Seven times he said, Go, look again. And the seventh time, the youth reported, There is a cloud as small as a man's hand rising from the sea. Elijah said, Go and say to Ahab, Harness up and leave the mountain before the rain stops you. In a trice, the sky grew dark with clouds and wind, and a heavy rain fell. Ahab mounted his chariot and made for Jezreel. But the hand of the Lord was on Elijah. He girded up his clothing and ran before Ahab, as far as he approaches to Jezreel, the word of the Lord. It is right to praise you in Zion, O God. It is right to praise you in Zion, O God. You have visited the land and watered it. Greatly have you enriched it. God's water courses are filled. You have prepared the grain. It is right to praise you in Zion, O God. Thus have you prepared the land, drenching its furrows, breaking up its clods, softening it with showers, blessing its yield. It is right to praise you in Zion, O God. You have crowned the year with your bounty, and your paths overflow with a rich harvest. The untilled meadows overflow with it, and rejoicing flows the hills. It is right to praise you in Zion, O God. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said to his disciples, I tell you, unless your righteousness surpasses that of the scribes and Pharisees, you will not enter into the kingdom of heaven. You have heard that it was said to your ancestors, you shall not kill and whoever kills will be liable to judgment. But I am there recall that your brother has anything against you. Leave your gift there at the altar. Go first and be reconciled with your brother, and then come and offer your gift. Settle with your opponent quickly while on the way to court with him. Otherwise, your opponent will hand you over to the judge and the judge will hand you, hand you with the 
only like the second time I've seen him wear glasses. He looks very scholarly today, doesn't he? So this reading from first book of Kings follows on actually it's kind of a thing to skip ahead. Yesterday's reading had to deal with um, Elijah and this uh, confrontation that he had with the priests of, of Baal, the prophets of Baal, this false um, fertility king of the Babylonian um, area. And in this big confrontation, it was a big long reading yesterday, but Elijah, you know, has them uh, build altars, each build altars, and then dig a trench around it. And then he had his filled up with water, and he kept having it filled up with water and filled up with water, so everything was completely drenched. And then the, the thing was, which one was actually the true God? And then um, he said, okay, priests of the, or the you know, prophets of Baal, you go pray. And if Baal hears you, he will, you know, uh, accept your sacrifice and set it on fire. And, of course, nothing happened. And Elijah douses, you know, the altar three times to make sure that everything is completely filled up with water. He prays to God. God sends, you know, a lightning bolt or something and sets the thing on fire. And showing that who the true, you know, God is in the land of Israel. We've skipped ahead a whole bunch, but a whole lot of things have taken place. Big confrontation between Elijah and the king of Israel, Ahab, and his wife Jezebel, and Elijah's on the run for his life. And a big drought sets in uh, in Israel during this period, seven years of this drought and famine. And now we're coming to the end of it, where Elijah now is praying for the people God sends him the message to go up on the mountain and look. There he sees this cloud, and it, it's showing the advent of what is now about to come and have this rain that breaks the cycle of famine. But it's, you know, it's a whole thing is a story of faithfulness. And, and how even in good times and in bad, that you need to maintain faith with the Lord because he has a plan. I think about this reading every time it comes up because uh, shortly after I was ordained a deacon eight years ago, there was a great drought that we had at the time, and I was at Sacred Hearts um, at the time, and we wound up actually doing a special mass just for, to pray for rain to come, uh, to come because it had been so long since there was any. And this was the reading that was up, and I wound up preaching at that, and uh, I don't think I'll ever forget it because it not to say I have all this power, but rain came shortly after, by the way. So just so you know, I have that kind of connection, okay? Um, but it was, I think about this because it, the, the story of faithfulness is, uh, you know, of, you know, when things are, are turning bleak, it's the time to turn to God. When things are going good, it's the time to turn to God. And we have to kind of keep you know, our minds focused on that. That God has some sort of plan for us in one way or another. Sometimes it's drought. Sometimes we've got a lot of rain. But whatever it is, God has something in store. So we need to pray to have the faithfulness of Elijah, the faithfulness of Barnabas, the, uh, the apostle that we celebrate today. Because in the midst of all their trials, they stood fast. So called to bring healing and peace into our world, we bring our gifts to the Father and ask him to hear our prayer. O Pope and all church leaders, may the grace of God bear fruit in their ministry and increase them in holiness. Let us pray to the Lord. For leaders of nations and all those in authority, May God give them wisdom and strength in carrying out all their duties. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the sick, the lonely, 
the poor and those who have been hurt by the actions of others, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those gathered here today who are filled with anger towards others, may the Lord give them courage in seeking reconciliation. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died, may they know the joy of God's mercy as they enter into eternal life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the living and diseased members of NCFS, SF Court 299, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for all the prayers that we hold in the silence of our hearts. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Gracious God, we offer you our needs this morning. We ask that you hear and answer them according to your will. We offer them all through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Sacrifice in respect of service to the kingdom of God. Wash me, O Lord, from my iniquity and cleanse me from my sin. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Sanctify with your blessing, we pray, O Lord, the offerings presented here, so that by your grace they may set us on fire with the flames of your love, by which St. Barnabas brought the light of the gospel to the nations, through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. We have built your church to stand firm on apostolic foundations, to be a lasting sign of your holiness on earth, and to offer all humanity your heavenly teaching. Therefore, now and for ages unending, with all the hosts of angels, we sing to you with all our hearts, crying out as we acclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood 
of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us savior of the world for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free therefore as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection we offer you lord the bread of life and the chalice of salvation giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of christ we may be gathered into one by the holy spirit remember lord your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Donald, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, Graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will. We live and reign forever and ever. Peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come with me spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself fully to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. I no longer call you slaves because a slave does not know what his master is doing. But I have called you friends because I have told you everything I have heard from my father. Let us pray. As we receive the pledge of eternal life, we humbly implore you, Lord, that what we celebrate in sacramental signs on the memorial of the blessed apostle Barnabas, we may one day behold unveiled through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Thanks be to God.